What's up guys, my name is Ace, and with the Season 4 patch notes, Raven mentioned something that they're going to be doing with Dead Silence, and this is, they're going to be providing some sort of counterplay to it in the future. This is likely going to be through a perk, but we don't know exactly what their plan is with this. However, this made me want to revisit footstep audio a little bit in Warzone, to see what the quietest method of moving around is when you don't have Dead Silence equipped. So what are the best alternatives, assuming Dead Silence gets nerfed into the ground, what are your best alternatives for quiet movement? So what I'm going to be doing here for my tests is showing a pretty realistic situation where you'd want to sneak up on somebody, and that is if somebody's just hanging out camping in an attic of a building. And let's first just hear what it sounds like when somebody sprints up those stairs. Obviously that was extremely loud and easy to hear. Anybody with a headset is going to clearly hear you approaching, even if there's some gunfire and stuff going on in the distance. But now let's see what happens if we just walk up the stairs. This is without aiming down sight, without crouching, we're standing and moving at full speed. What does that sound like? While that's not nearly as loud as when the enemy is sprinting, that is still extremely audible. And any player that's paying attention and again has a headset on, they're likely going to be hearing you approach with plenty of time to prepare for you and pre-aim you. Now, let's get into the methods outside of Dead Silence that people tend to use to make their footsteps quieter when approaching an enemy. The first one is going to be crouch walking. This is probably the most common method. And let's just have a listen, keeping in mind this is without double time, which does increase your crouch walking movement speed. And with this, you could barely hear any sort of a footstep at all until that enemy was about five or six meters away. And then you could definitely hear those footsteps, but they're very quiet. If there was a lot going on, a lot of like gunfire in the distance or explosions or anything like that, you're probably not going to hear it. But a very aware player in a quiet situation could potentially hear you approaching there. Next up, let's have a look at the second most popular method that people will use to have quieter footsteps when approaching an enemy, and this is aim down sight walking. So you don't have to crouch here, you can be standing and moving at full speed just while aiming down sight, which is especially good with SMGs if you have one of the final stocks on there, for Cold War weapons at least, that boost your aim walking movement speed. Let's have a listen. Now when it comes to this one, it is fairly comparable to crouch walking, although one thing I noticed is you can hear the footsteps further away a little bit. However, once the enemy gets really close to you, the frequency of your footsteps is a lot lower than when you're crouch walking, and therefore right up close and personal, this is actually slightly better than crouch walking it seems. In either case, either one of those methods, crouch walking or aim down sight walking, are great at reducing that footstep audio very significantly. But which one is better when you take into account all of the different factors like your movement speed, as well as your field of view for instance? Well, the first thing I want to look at is movement speed. And keep in mind with this build that I've got here is a Milano build with the Raider stock equipped. And therefore the aim walking movement speed on this is 2.81 meters per second. Whereas with that same setup, without the double time perk, our movement speed while doing this is 2.43 meters per second. So we actually are able to approach that target a little bit faster while aim down sight walking instead of crouch walking. And therefore, at least in that sense, aim down sight walking is the superior option. However, this doesn't take everything into account. Another thing to pay attention to is your field of view. Keeping in mind, I'm playing on console here, so I have no field of view setting whatsoever. If you're aimed down sight walking, you're going to be aiming down sight farther than you would if you weren't aimed down sight walking and if you were crouch walking. So this will give you a little bit more tunnel vision. It will make it more difficult to check your corners, especially if you have a lower aim down sight sensitivity, which I have and many people also tend to have. So even though it's faster, it might not be as effective as crouch walking for approaching a situation where you need to check those corners. So really at the end of the day, when just comparing crouch walking versus aim down sight walking without the double time perk equipped, it really just depends on the situation and how you want to approach it. If you don't feel like you really need to be carefully checking corners and stuff, aim down sight walking is probably your best bet. Whereas if you do feel like you need to constantly be checking those corners and having that wider field of view, 
then you definitely want to be crouch walking in that situation. However, you'll notice I've been saying this is without double time. Now let's see what happens when we use the double time perk. And the reason this is important is this increases our crouch walking movement speed by about 30%, which now gives us a very noticeably faster movement speed than both of the situations we just looked at. We get a 3.2 meters per second movement speed with the Milano in my hands here. And let's just have a listen to see how it compares with not using double time when it comes to the raw audio. It turns out the audio and the volume level of the footstep is essentially exactly the same here with or without double time so it doesn't seem like movement speed matters nearly as much as what your character is doing. Are they crouching? Are they aiming down sight? Are they sprinting? That's all that really seems to matter so moving slower doesn't necessarily just make you quieter. And this is why, in my opinion at least, the best alternative to dead silence if you don't have dead silence available this is going to be the double time perk. This allows you to approach situations quite a bit faster than if you're just standard crouch walking or aim down sight walking. And honestly, I didn't quite realize it was this good. Like double time, I always thought people only really use that to get the longer duration of tactical sprint as well as the faster recharge of tactical sprint. It turns out, at least in solo game modes or game modes that tend to be really quiet where you're trying to sneak up on an enemy, the most effective use for the double time perk is to actually sneak up on enemy players and be able to do that with a decent enough movement speed compared to not having that perk equipped. And as a result, especially once they end up nerfing Dead Silence, whatever they end up doing to it, if I'm playing solo game modes, I am likely going to be switching all of my solo class setups to have the double time perk equipped. Now that is mainly due to my playstyle. Normally I'd be running something like EOD, but EOD isn't quite as necessary for someone that's being the aggressor. It's more so necessary for somebody that is camping and trying to defend so that people can't blow them up really easily. So yeah, it does depend on your playstyle, but if you are looking to approach enemies quietly and quickly without dead silence, crouch walking with double time is absolutely the way to go. Now while I was doing this testing, just a little bonus here, I wanted to point out the difference in audio when an enemy is camping in an attic and you want to approach that building and you have to open one of the doors downstairs, just how much quieter is it to peek open the door where you aim down sight first and then you press the open door button compared to just the standard door opening where you don't aim down sight, you just hit the button to open the door. The first clip is going to be a standard door opening and the second clip is a peak door opening. Have a listen. So as expected, it is much quieter to be doing that peak opening, but I just wanted to hear what it sounded like from a third person perspective to see what they actually hear. And I honestly was a little bit surprised at how audible it is when you do peek open a door. I thought for somebody that's in a second floor attic, it would be essentially inaudible, but it's not the case. Technically, there is still a little bit of a sound made, and a very aware player in a quiet situation can definitely hear that happen. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. The main thing I wanted to hammer home with this is, especially once Dead Silence is nerfed, Double Time is probably going to be your next best bet as far as concealing your footsteps while not essentially locking yourself in place by crouch walking or aim down sight walking. And with that, I'm interested in hearing from you guys in the comment section down below. What do you think of the current footstep audio without Dead Silence? If we were to eliminate Dead Silence from the game completely, do you think the footsteps in Warzone are just fine as they are? Or do you think they should be quieter overall or louder overall? Just let me know those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.